Let's talk about this one. Competitive endurance. Yes. You weren't great for 40 minutes, but you battled for 40 yeah. minutes. Walk us through that. We must have said that, those two words, about 20 times at halftime. You know, it's a 40-minute game, and you got to have competitive endurance. That means you're locked in, focus, you're physical, you're, you're just locked in for 40 straight minutes. In terms of this win, it's one of those nip and tuck games, right? We talked about this. Both teams wanted this one. Both teams, this is a winnable one. You circle on your calendar, circle on the schedule. In terms of the difference in the second half, you didn't shoot it great, but you won loose balls. You got a defensive rebound. You got to play here and there when you need it. How big is this for your group? As we say, up on the glass, down on the floor, we got to win those battles. And I thought we won the 50-50 battle second half. Best maybe uh, defensive half we've had all year. Obviously, it was great having Jarrell Gates back. Um, you know, so just really proud of our guys with the way we responded because we didn't play very good Wednesday night. In terms of Jarrell, obviously outstanding. What he means to your group. Second half, he really got you off on the right foot. Seemed to carry you, bring momentum out of the locker room. Obviously, his play was one thing, but I thought he had an unbelievable leadership tonight. You know, he, he led our huddles. Even at halftime, man, he wasn't going to let us lose tonight. So really proud of that guy. We talked about it. We'll see you later this week. Congratulations. All right, Jarrell, come on over here. He's getting a hug from his coach. I like to see it. Hey, man, congratulations on the win. This is Jarrell Gates. Talk to me about this win. Your coach just said unbelievable leadership from you tonight. Walk us through that because I know that's something that he's been preaching to this group. Yeah, man, just trying to lead, being one of the older guys, just trying to be one of those vocal leaders and being able to lead by example as well. It was uh, good enough to get the win. We missed you on Wednesday. It was a late scratch. You came out here and played like you missed us on Wednesday. Sure. How does it feel to get back out of the court? It was great. It was great. I hate I had to miss Wednesday, but uh, stuff happens. I'm just glad I got a chance to be, uh, be able to get back out here. Before I let you go, big win for this program, big win for this team, building some momentum here at home. In the second half, it seemed like you were the guy that drew all the attention. They ultimately sent a double team at you. You made the adjustment. Walk us through what that is going like as a player and having to deal with those different looks from an opponent. Uh, just being able to adjust. I mean, teams uh, teams will show different defenses depending on how you're playing at times. And I was scoring a little bit. So being able to adjust and get other guys involved and get the ball moving on the other side is, uh, is something I'm trying to focus on. Congratulations, Jeff. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday night. Thank you.